Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious pumpkin flan, flan de calabaza. Hola mis cariños, bienvenido a mi cocina. Le voy a mostrar cómo hacer un flan de calabaza. For the ingredients I'm using, quarter of a um, calabaza or kabocha pumpkin in English. I'm using um, five eggs, one can of condensed milk, one can of evaporated milk, one cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, and one teaspoon of um, cinnamon. I'm also using a pinch of salt. Para los ingredientes necesitamos son calabaza, um, un pedazo de calabaza, un um, cuarto, um, o una taza um, pura de calabaza, um, una lata de leche condensada y leche evaporada, una taza de azúcar, una cuchara de, um, cucharadita de vanilla y la misma cantidad de cinema, um, can canela. Um, y también uh, cinco huevos. So to prepare our um, calabaza, um, I'm going to uh, peel the skin off and then I'm going to um, clean it and then I'm going to um, start um, boiling the calabaza. El primer paso es quita la cáscara de la calabaza. Después um, lávala y cortala en pedazos y hérvala hasta que suavecita. While the um, calabaza is boiling, I'm going to start preparing the other ingredients. Mientras la calabaza está hirviendo, uh, voy a um, preparando um, los um, otros ingredientes. So now you're going to add in the five eggs. I'm just, I'm just leaving out the cream cheese. Hay muchas uh, recetas de flan. Um, Algunas um, personas agregan queso crema, pero uh, me gusta um, la manera simple. And I'm also adding a pinch of salt to um, enhance the flavor of the sugar. I forgot to mention it earlier. Olvide mencionar, estoy agregando una risquita de sal. Now our um, calabaza is ready, so I'm going to drain it and I'm going to uh, mash it up. Ahora voy a machacar la calabaza. Okay, aquí tengo um, una um, taza de calabaza. So my um, uh, calabaza made one cup, so I'm going to add that into the uh, blender. Okay, le voy a poner la calabaza, um, pure de cal la calabaza en la licuadora. So now we're going to add the sugar into the pot with uh, three tablespoons of water to make our caramel sauce. azúcar y tres cucharas de agua para hacer nuestro caramelo. So when our um, sugar mixture turns to a uh, brown caramel sauce, then we know it's ready. Cuando el azúcar cambia al caramelo uh, claro, está listo. Y no queme um, el azúcar porque um, estaré un sabor amargo. So now it's ready and um, I'm going to pour it into my um, bacon dish. Ok, ahora le voy a echar um, nuestro caramelo en el molde. Okay, so now we're gonna pour our um, milk into the milk mixture into our um, bacon dish. And we, I'm using a strainer so that I can catch all the bits and it will be a smooth um, flan. Voy a usar um, un colador um, para, para quitar um, el grumos de, de la leche. So now I'm just gonna cover my um, bacon dish with aluminum foil. And I'm just gonna put it on this um, rubber um, holder um, so that it makes it easier for me to put the um, baking dish into the uh, pot because I'm not going to bake it. I'm going to um, make my um, flan in a regular pot. Okay, voy a um, cubrir mi molde con alumino y después lo voy a um, poner en una olla um, en lugar del horno. So I'm going to um, cover this and I'm going to let this cook for about one hour. Um, 
and then I'm gonna remove it and let it cool off. Tapalo y um, cocinalo durante una hora más o menos. Now you wanna um, check it with a toothpick to see if it comes out dry. If it's still wet, let it go for about, cook for about 10 to 15 more minutes. Ahora voy a chequear el flan para ver si está listo. Now we're gonna um, let it rest for four hours and then we're gonna check the flan to see if it's ready. It should be ready. Okay, voy a dejarlo enfriar en la nevera durante cuatro horas. So what you want to do now is just run a knife or a spatula um, around the edges just to loosen up the flan before you put it in the refrigerator. Estoy usando una spatula para aflojar el flan del bordes. Now you want to place a plate over your mold and you want to flip the flan so it can be um, right side up. Voy a voltear um, el flan. Mira que bello. Esto flan es bonito. This is one of my best flans ever. This really is a perfect flan. It's even too pretty to cut, but I have to cut it so I can show you guys what it looks like. No quiero cortarlo porque es tan bonito. Well, guys, I want to thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. Um, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And please leave a comment. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Reddit. Oh, and Pinterest. Thanks for watching. God bless. Bueno, mis cariños, es hora para ayudarme. Si te gusta este video, dale un like. Deje un comentario. Suscríbete a mi canal. Sigue me on Facebook, uh, TikTok, Instagram, Reddit, y Pinterest. Gracias por ayudarme. Muchas bendiciones. Bye-bye.